So in understanding what an interpreter does and what they do uh, in an interaction is the, the most important things is an interpreter's job is what we refer to as the three C's. First and foremost, they're a conduit. They, they bring the information back and forth from the caregiver to the non-English speaking patient. They're a clarifier. If the interpreter notices that the patient may be nodding his head, yes, but they really don't understand, they're gonna ask the doctor or the caregiver in that interaction to please clarify the situation. The patient may not understand cardiac catheterization so that the caregiver has to explain it at a level that they can understand. Also, they're, finally, they're a cultural broker. Uh, they understand the cultures of, uh, of different um, aspects uh, in, in dealing with, with patient care. Uh, for example, a, a young child in Los Angeles had red welts on his back. The doctor was concerned and wanted to call Child Protective Services because he thought there might be abuse. The interpreter jumped in and, and under, helped the doctor understand that this was a, a cultural issue where the parents run a gold coin down the patient's back down the child's back to remove the evil spirits. So there wasn't abuse, it was actually an in-home remedy. Uh, and so using the interpreter is very, very important and how to use it. You know, the, the interpreter needs to be transparent to the situation. The interpreter be, needs to be able to see the patient because the 80% of uh, communications is nonverbal. You need to, uh, the caregiver needs to speak directly to the patient, not to the interpreter in first person in short phrases and speak to the level of the patient. So that's very, very important. And not only using an interpreter, but understanding how to use an interpreter properly in this situation. Mm -hmm.